before we get started, I'd just like to explain our test network. The internet is being simulated on the 10 private address range where our C2 server resides. Our victim network is not directly connectable from the 10 range, but can reach out via network address translation. In this example, the attacker machine cannot access a router on the internal victim network. However, the workstation infected with System BC can. Using the System BC control panel to find the SOX port on the C2 server dedicated to the infected workstation, we are able to perform a port scan of the victim network as if directly connected. After finding a server which looks like it might host an internal web application, we are able to investigate this further by configuring the proxy settings for a standard web browser. Note this is as simple as adding the C2 server address and the port found on the system BC control panel. There are many proxy aware tools available to an attacker. Here we're using a popular brute forcer to find out the highly secure password. Once the password is known, all that is left is to use the browser again to log into a privileged account and exfiltrate the sensitive data. The other main functionality of System BC is the ability to run code on the infected hosts. There are two approaches of doing this, both of which can be found within the loader subpage of the control panel. A simple URL download and execute is one. This will trigger the implant running on the infected machine to download our file malware and create a run once scheduled task to execute it. The other mechanism is injecting shellcode straight into the system BC implant itself. The system BC panel takes shellcode in escape sequence form and writes it to a text file named distinctively with a Unix timestamp followed by random hexadecimal characters. Because the shellcode is injected into the implant itself, there is no indication in the process list of anything new running. If we instigate a new shell from the meterpreter instance we injected, we can now see a new CMD process has been created as a child of the system BC implant. That concludes our demonstration. Thank you.